Techno Update. Subscribe now. LG V10 Review If you were to ask me how many cameras and displays a phone needs, I'd say one good one of each. If you ask the same of LG, however, the answer would be 5. The new LG V10 Android smartphone has two selfie shooters and a second screen, both sitting immediately above its 5.7-inch display. It's a gimmick fest, even by LG's high standards in this category, and an expensive one. But LG is known for more than just gimmicks these days. The Korean company also has one of our favorite mobile cameras of the year, appearing on this summer's G4 and returning in an enhanced form on the V10, and some of the best displays to grace any smartphone. So there's no inherent conflict between what I seek and what LG offers, the V10 can still be an excellent smartphone, superfluous extras notwithstanding. The first thing to know about the V10 is that it's big and burly. At 192 grams, it weighs exactly the same as the iPhone 6s Plus and has roughly the same dimensions. Opinions will vary on this, but I find both phones intolerably large. Call me old-fashioned for expecting to be able to fit a mobile device into a trouser or jacket pocket without having it affect my posture or gait. LG's V10 is going up against the 5.7-inch Nexus 6P and Galaxy Note 5 for the title of best all-around Android smartphone, so its dimensions are forgivable, although it is noticeably heavier than both of its most direct competitors. Also superfluous is the 2.1-inch secondary display, which sits above the main 5.7-inch screen. Think of all the low-priority notifications that Android doesn't bother to show you live on screen, such as app installations or the currently playing song, and you'll find them on the second screen. It doesn't replace anything, because the Android status bar and notifications system still work exactly as on any other device. It duplicates, which is the very definition of a redundant part. The story of the LG V10 begins and ends with its brilliant camera, but the connective tissue that makes this device a compelling smartphone is the software on board. Though it doesn't ship with the latest Android Marshmallow, the V10 has pretty much everything Android users want and expect from their device. Well, apart from a clean and unoffensive skin. For all its sincere design efforts, LG continues to spoil rather than improve the look of Android. Case in point, there is a settings menu for the smart settings inside the general settings tab of the settings menu. Other than its camera app, the thing LG has done right on the software front is optimize performance. It might be the V10's 4GB of RAM talking, but this new smartphone is noticeably smoother in operation than its G4 predecessor, which has the same screen resolution and processor, but only 3GB of RAM. Having used the V10 as my daily smartphone for over a week, I only notice in retrospect how frictionless many of my workflow interactions with the phone have been. It doesn't lag, stutter, or delay anything. HDR photos can take a bit of time to process on most smartphones, but the V10 chews through them almost instantly. I can multitask like a champion, darting in and out of apps without any hang-ups. Basically, the V10 performs exactly as well as you'd expect from a high-specs device. It promises speed and delivers it. If there's one aspect of the LG V10's hardware that disappoints me, it's the battery life. I get a day and a half of use on a single charge with this phone and no more. That's actually par for the course, with the Galaxy Note 5 and Nexus 6P achieving similar results, but just because it's a trend doesn't make it a good one. Big phones should be get long battery life, however the current crop of leading Android smartphones, and the iPhone 6S Plus 2, for that matter, just doesn't live up to that standard. 
It probably has to do with all three devices having huge 5.7 inch Quad HD, 2560 by 1440 displays, which burn through a battery quickly even if you're not recording 4K video or tearing it up in real racing 3 all day. On the plus side, LG's V10 is one of the last remaining flagship phones to still offer a user-replaceable battery as well as a microSD card slot for storage expansion.